Hello again, everyone. Several people asked me after making this video of, um, with aligning letters, how I made this background. And it was done with a, um, a technique that I learned, oh, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, I suppose, um, on a retreat when Kylie Pertel from Australia came over to England to run this weekend uh, uh, retreat in Swindon. We had so, such fun, can't tell you, such fun. And one of the techniques that she showed us was this one, where you use spray starch together with, it. what she used was brushes actually. Here I've got a, a um, box of brushes. Um, and I've got, I also since then bought this additional set which is called Sprinkle It, and they've got some, um, you know, metallic-y kind of things. So uh, what I thought I'd do today was show you the, the principle of the technique, but actually try some different pigment powders, just to see how we go. I've had a go this morning, I'll show you what I did with some of those presently, but um, the first thing I'd like to say is if anybody has got brushes and couldn't get on with them. When I first uh, bought this box of brushes, I couldn't get on with them either because I thought you had to take the lid off. And of course, when you take the lid off and try to use some of the powder, the pigment, each colour is so intense, it kind of goes everywhere. And, you know, I just, it was all pigment and nothing else. But I discovered if you just put a pinhole in the top, that pinhole is sufficient to be able to sprinkle out the amount of uh, pigment that you might need. So I think the colours I used here were emerald green and ultra, emerald green and ultra, ultramarine. Not sure, but anyway, that's that. But I've got various other things. That, I've got a whole bunch of these somewhere and I can only find one. I must have put them in something that there wasn't room for quite all of them. This <laughs> And this one went somewhere else. I don't know. I must have had one of those moments where I have a grand tidy up and a reorganise. And I can't find anything. Anyway, here, these are um, Nuvo shimmer powders. This is a Cosmic Shimmer one. These ones are Pretty Gets Gritty. Uh, this is a... Um, Indigo Blue Luscious Powder. So I thought we'd just have a go, see how we get on. Um, the other thing that I need besides the spray starch and a pigment powder is a bit of cling film or sarin wrap or food wrap or whatever people call it in whatever country they reside in. But this is the stuff I'm talking about. Okay, right, so I've got gloves on because I want to make a card afterwards and I think my my fingers might get a trifle messy. The one thing you have to have in mind with this is that when you've treated the card or whatever you're using, the paper, it does need time to dry. So you can't just sort of do the process and then make cards with it straight away. It does need time to dry. I have tried to... Um, speed the process up with some that I made earlier by using my heat gun but I think you'd find if you leave it to dry naturally it will dry flatter the card will dry flatter okay I'm going to use my spraying box because sometimes the starch and stuff goes all over the place so this is just a piece of my regular um, linen card stock I've used all sorts of used watercolour plain shiny cardstock also you can try whatever you've got my my answer to most of these things is don't go out buying stuff just have a go with what you've got first to see if it works. you might find you know it's brilliant so you will have saved yourself a bit of money so i think that's great so here's my card i'm just going to oh give that another shake i've been shaking it all morning but i'll give it another shake now i'm not quite sure what it is in the starch that um, gives this sort of sheeny effect, but there is obviously something because you can get almost this sheen without adding um, a mica, a, 
powder. So to, this time I'm going to add these two, I think. And I've got, I want to use this one because I've got two pots of these, which I bought by mistake. So I'd like to use some of this. It's Peacock Luscious Powder. And this one is Peacock Green. Let's see how different they are. This is the Cosmic Shimmer. Okay. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. And often with these pigment powders, when you start to sprinkle them, the different elements, the different colours are showing here. I can see yellow, I can see green, I can see blue. It's beautiful. Now, this one doesn't have um, a nozzle like this, so I can't get a small amount out. And I don't want to... Um, Oops, a daisy. I don't want to get too much on. So what I'm going to do is use a soft brush, dip it in, and then just tap. Let's see how we go. It's a different colour altogether, isn't it? I'm looking. I'm seeing butterflies here. I don't know about you. Oh, isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. Just wondering whether to add a little bit of something. I don't know. Um, the magic sparkle. Shall we add a little magic sparkle? This is so gorgeous. Let me just brush that off first of all. Oh, look, it's going to be twinkly bits everywhere. I want to make sure that all of the powder is in fact dissolved. And as you can see, a lot of it isn't. So what I'm going to do is spray some more starch over it. Now, once I start to put the salmon wrap on, I can, let's put a bit more of this on. I can move the color around with it just a little. Right, let me cut off a piece of this wrap. The box it came in is long since broken, so this is why I'm having to cut some off. I hope you can see this. Let me just take a look. Oh yes, you can. Good oh. Right, you can scrunch it up first if you want, or scrunch it up after it, it doesn't much matter, but the idea is to get as many wrinkles in, in it as possible. So we're going to put it over. This is where the rubber gloves come in, you see, because I'm starting to make a bit of a pig's breakfast, so. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise known as a dog's dinner. <laughs> I always used to say a dog's, din a dog's dinner for something seeming a mess or what the Americans would call a hot mess, I suppose. Um, I used to call it a dog's dinner. And then one school I was teaching at, one of the te teachers always used to refer to a pig's breakfast and I kind of picked it up from then. Now, if you want to make sure that there's no bubbles in, which will stop any color from transferring to the, the card, you can just get a brayer and just kind of go over it. Make sure that that the the wrap is is on the on the card. Okay. Now the thing we have to do that is very hard to do is wait. So we have to take this out, put it somewhere to dry until um, the card is, is is you know fairly dry, and then we can take the wrap off. So I'm going to put it over here. We'll try one more because I do have one more piece of of card cut. Put in a new bit of scrap in here. These are surplus Christmas letters. My my husband printed off too many. I I printed some and he thought I hadn't, and so he printed some. So we had far more letters than we had friends to send them to. So let's try some of the nouveau shimmers this time. What should we try? Try the lilac. 
I'm not sure what that's called. Lilac Waterfall. And what's this one? That's just Ivory Willow. Why don't we try, should we try a black and be a bit daring, a bit bold? There's a bit of blue there, but we won't worry about it. Right, let's try these two. But I mean, just have a go with what you've got, but you can't lose anything really, can you? Because it just might work. I suppose it's your cup half empty, half full. I'm I'm definitely a half full person. Um, you know, the time to worry about something is when it actually happens, not if. If it might, it's a waste of worry with my in my book. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Is that not dispersing quite as much as the others? Am I thinking? Who knows? Let's have a bit of, I don't know, a bit of gold in it or something. I've got some gold, um, gold luscious powder here. Let's pop some of this onto it. Give it a drop more um, starch after this, and then we'll pop on the wrap, some wrap. Looks like fireworks, doesn't it? But um, you know, there's just so many pigment powders around. Just, just kind of use what you've got. Have a go. I must confess that um, luscious powders are. Some of my favourite, the shimmer and luster you get from them. Just, oh, I didn't put any more. I didn't put any more of this on, did I? Let's just give it a quick burst. There we go. Right, on with the wrap. See, you can you can move this colour around. Get rid of some of these bubbles because if you get a bubble you don't get the colour so much. Right. It's an interesting one, isn't it? There we go. Right. Now I'll lift this off and we'll put it somewhere to dry. Okay. Now just move these out of the way because I thought I would make a card with one of the ones that I did earlier this morning. I just must um, clean my mat because um, brush o powder gets absolutely everywhere. The particles are so small that they just get absolutely everywhere. Let's just have a clean up here. I think most um, pigment powders are, are, are kind of similar to. Right, do it with a clean one, and and then we'll make a card. I'll show you some of the other um, backgrounds that I did. All the yes, the backgrounds I did this morning. Although I probably won't use them for duck backgrounds, so I'll use them for for die cutting. Okay. That's not too bad, good. Okay, so here are some. There we go. Here's one. I don't remember exactly what I used, but I think, I think this one was these two, Pretty Gets Gritty. But you can see the lovely swirly pattern from the wrap. This one, I don't know. I think I added a bit of this gold, metallic gold sprinkle it on top of brushos on that one. This one I think has got some of this twinkle it iridescent. Was that it? it? No, not iridescent violet. Iridescent gold. Yes, I think that's the one. It's got little tiny glitt glittery particles in. And this one is a few shades of 
luscious powders. And I thought I'd use this one to make a card with today. This one, the other ones are still a bit soggy. I have dried this one off and as it was looking very, very goldy, I, when I did that, a lot of gold came off of my finger. So the answer to that one was to spray it with some hairspray. Just a mist all over it and let it dry. And that has sealed the pigment powder. I was looking for the hairspray, but I can't find it. Never mind. So what I thought I would do with this is to make a little card and use some flowers. Make this into some flowers. I've got um, a card panel here. I have got um, a die just to bisect it. Um, I have here got some, this is Charlie and Portion dies. I love these and it's, I've got, I haven't actually cleaned it out from the last time, sadly. So there's lots of it, tiny little, these make holes in the actual um, die cuts. But the, <laughs> the tiny bits are left in. I should have cleaned it before I showed it to you, shouldn't I? Shows me up. Um, on to the subject of subscriptions again. Someone is saying that they think uh, they were unsubscribed, but they thought that maybe if people didn't give a thumbs up or didn't interact in any way, didn't get, leave a comment or a thumbs up, that might be a reason why um, YouTube decided to unsubscribe them. I have been so saddened by the number of people whose subscriptions have been reversed. Um, my daughter, in her video for our golden wedding, said she she thought that we, I would be on 20,000 by the new year. And um, I'm still struggling at the top end of 17. So I don't think her prediction is going to come to fruition, sadly. Never mind, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. But, right, what I want to do is this. I have a card panel, oh, a base rather, somewhere here. Here's my card base. Here's my card panel. And what I have a fancy for doing is to cut it into two pieces like this, emboss the lower part with my Swiss Dots um, uh, Cuttlebug emb embossing folder, which is one of my all-time, all-time favourites. And then just add um, sort of a cascade of flowers across the join. So that's that. this card may be too small. I don't know. I may have to go up a size or something if it's not it doesn't turn out big big enough. So we'll just see. So let's have a go. Bring in my cutting machine, and I will cut. Will that fit in there? No. So let's just. I'm, I'm just going to have. I'm just going to cut off a piece. It's going to be random. I'm not going to look this time and see what I've got. Just a random section of petals. And I may be using a bit of gilding wax on the edges of these somewhere or other. We'll see. Okay, so there's my flowers cut and cut beautifully by the look of it. I'll put this away for a minute. Um, now I want to cut the front panel. So we'll just pop that about like that, I would say. Cut that into two pieces. Hopefully it'll be a fairly quick card if I'm lucky. No. Oh, it's alright, it's merely dust. I, I thought there was some I say the brush out gets absolutely everywhere. So now I'm going to emboss the lower pot portion. Pop this in here. Swiss dots are just one of my all-time favourite embossing folders. It's been, I don't know, there's something about it that's just lovely. So let's just emboss this. There we go. 
I need to join these two pieces back together. Turn them over that way and I'll just use some. I'll put it on one piece first and then add the other. Just a piece of sticky tape will do. This is the stuff that doesn't um, go a funny colour and all the rest of it over, over time. Right. I'm just hoping that none of the pigment actually transfers to any of this card. I have to be so kind of careful. Somebody said about, um, you know, whenever you, you give your your tips that you found useful on a, um, a video, there's always somebody <laughs> who uh, finds a different way more efficient. Um, I think there's no right way for anything. It's the way that works for you that is the right way. So, you know, when I give tips or whatever, they're very often things that work for me, but plus, I try to give a few ideas of different ways of doing things because not everybody likes to do the same thing. Um, one suggestion a lady said was, um, oh, oh, put, instead of putting your letters on backwards onto a piece of um, press and seal, um, put them on the right way up onto onto your grid and then put the press and seal on the top. But I found when doing that, you're trying to put the press and seal on the top and you knock one of the letters out of position. So I just found the way that I uh, told you was the way that works for me. So as I say, there's no right or wrong way. It's, it's what works for individuals. So aren't they pretty? Look at these. Just look at these. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful. This is one of my favourite petal dies. I've kept them all together because I'm just, you know, you never know which ones you're going to use with what. Right, it gives a variety of, of numbers of, of petals. Uh, and I think sometimes you can use them for leaves as well. So, you know, neither here nor there. So let's just have a look. What This is what I fancy doing is, is kind of... They do look a trifle big for this card, I must confess. So let's just look at the smaller bits. See that bit there looks more like a leaf, doesn't it? Let's just see. Um, that's reasonably small. Just a question of arranging, really. That's quite a nice one there. I just want to cover the line, the join. That might kind of do. Let's just see. Let's, um, I think we'll use glue dots for these, but we'll give them a, a little bit of shape first of all. With my faithful. Embossing tool. Oh, are they pretty? Look, the variance of colour and the lining. I don't know if you can see that. It is so pretty. And that with a pearl in the middle. Don't like that arrangement. I could spend hours fiddling here. I'll do one, and then I think I will just finish it because I'm going to. I will be spending a while, I think, messing about trying to match bits together to see which ones I like joined and all the rest of it and I'll probably be putting a little pearl in the centre of the flower. Try and get it a bit smaller. Let's just see. I 
No, this this got to be small down this end. I want large going to small. That might be all right there. Let's just give these a little shape. Doesn't need much. Okay. I could always cut some more of the smaller ones if I. I don't. <laughs> I don't have to get a bigger card base. One of the two. Let's have a look. I want a continuous line. I don't want any of the join to show. Of the, that, there we go. Right, let me just get some blue dots. Oh, these are a little small. Let me get slightly larger ones. Those are too big. I think these will do. Right. There we are. I knew, it, <laughs> I knew it would take a long time, but I think we kind of got there in the end. May put one more pearl just here. Um, just love these flat back pearls. I've got all different sizes. Let's put that one there. Okay. So there's our pretty. But isn't that lovely? Can you see the sheen on that? This is this is luscious powders, and I think I use various pinks, reds, and uh, a gold. So, um, 
I may put that up onto foam tape and I may use a bit of this for a sentiment. A little something somewhere at thanks or for you or I've got plenty here to go on. So let me just straighten things up. I'll put away all my pigment powders. Perhaps you'd like to dig out yours and see what you've got um, and have a bit of fun. Um, we can have a quick look at, and see what's happening to the um, the one we just did. Let's have it out of here. Oh, we've got we've got a couple actually. Haven't we? It's not dry, but can you see? It's really pretty. Look at that. I'll leave it. I'll leave it to dry. But just have a play. Have a bit of fun, and some of the things that come out will be wonderful. Even if you think they're a bit hectic, a bit too much for a background, you may find that for die cutting, for butterflies, for flowers, depending obviously what colour you choose, but um, you'll have some brilliant, brilliant effects. So there's another one down. Do please give a thumbs up, give a like. So um, hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully, um, YouTube will realise that you do actually want to watch these videos. So as ever, thank you so much, so, so much for watching.